So getting back to this as a larger solution for societal problems and maybe touching again on the authority issue because again, the point of these videos is to address philosophically core issues that you encounter. So when you deal with things on a larger scale, societal issues as they're called, when we abstract responsibility away from the individual and you look at things like political conflict, geopolitics, all of these things that create collective institutions and then pit them against each other in violent ways. If you can reframe those situations in ways where you only hold individuals responsible for what they've done, then you start to see the whole system kind of reveal itself for what it is. So uh, a good recent example of what happened is, say you have a country and they take some action of dropping bombs on some other arbitrary set of lines on the map, some other people, right? Some people might say that the person in charge, the president has made the decision to drop bombs on another country, which sounds like something that you could get worked up and argue with people about. Your person who leads your political party did something to a country, some abstract collection of people, and, and that's good or bad based on your perspective. Well, if you break it down into individual responsibility, then yes, an individual either wrote something on a piece of paper or made a phone call and said, hey, someone should go and drop explosives on some people on the other side of the world. And someone with a name, let's call him Bob. I'm sorry if your name is Bob, I'm not trying to pick on you, but Bob goes, gets in a plane because he was told to, right? Bob chooses because he's got a paycheck to earn to get into a plane, fly up in the air, drop an explosive on other people. Let's give them names, uh, Billy, Janet, and Carl. And they get killed by this explosion. So all of, a all of a sudden, it wasn't the president dropping bombs on a foreign country. Bob killed three people because he wanted a paycheck. When you don't allow collectivism and the abstraction of personal responsibility, and you just Today on the news, Bob blows up three people he didn't know. Well, that's not okay, right? Oh, well, it's because those three people live in the same country as another person, uh, Robert, who really doesn't like us, and if he had the opportunity, might kill somebody. Okay, well, that's a pretty weak justification for anything, isn't it? I mean... Did the three people who blew up, did you know who they were? Were they specifically doing something? Like, were they in the process of like attacking somebody? Or were they in the wrong place at the wrong time? Were they part of some collective structure that you labeled as bad? And because you're just doing your job, you went and killed people that you've never even met, that you have no idea who they are or what they're doing. And this can be applied to so many situations. Matter of fact, as you start to address problems in the world, I think what you will find is that this kind of abstraction of personal responsibility is always present.